Alright, what is up guys? It's Fun Day bringing you a special video. What you're about to watch is my top 5 favorite clips of 2016. I'm gonna start things off with Dishonorable Mention, which was a back-to-back 5-on. The only reason why I didn't put this in 5th or higher on the list is just because it was one with the PO6 and I missed a uh, shot on the first 5-on. It was also split on the first 5-on. And then the second 5-on was heat waved and it didn't- it just wasn't a very clean 5-on in my opinion. I said 5-on way too many times so far. <laughs> But as you can see, I just came in here, heat waved, and hit the second 5 on. I mean, it's still a really sick clip, but I didn't really want to count it higher just because it was with the PO6. Uh, so, fifth is the cross map spike drone on Green Band. I really like this clip because I play a lot of free for all, but this one was actually in Search and Destroy, and it ended up getting me onto XJMX top 5 plays. So. Obviously, when you get a lot of recognition off of a clip, you're going to tend to like that clip. It was just a really clean shot, and I ended up hitting the guy out of that little window across the map. It wasn't set up. Most people that play AW do set up now. Kind of sucks, but... Uh, I, I mean, I don't really mean to take any shots, but that's just the truth. Uh, so, fourth is an MWR... Uh, five on times two. The only reason why this wasn't higher is because it got split and I kind of hard scoped it from over here, which is a pretty cheap thing to do, but it's really hard to hit this many shots in a row. Um, and I didn't spray at all. Most people spray with the Barrett. I'm calling you out, Flexity, if you're watching, you little shit. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so as you can see, five on times two unfortunately did get split. So third is an instinct quad times three with the Atlas and more swap. I just really like this clip. Um, one, because the shots are just really clean. And two, the fact that it was swapped just makes it that much better. And it was for the Horizon RC. Unfortunately, I didn't win the Horizon RC. I mean, I got pretty damn close, to be fair. But it, I did hit some nice clips from it. So, you can't be too mad. So, second is Green Man Quad Times 2 Kill Cam. I really like this clip. Um, I was going to put the Instinct clip higher than this one. But just the fact that this clip was for Kill Cam and every shot was so clean. Like, it just really worked out. All six of these dudes pretty much ran at me, so... You know, I just, I really like this clip. It was for Sean's uh, sock challenge. I didn't end up putting out a response to. I could have, but I just ended up not. In the end, I didn't think I was going to get uh, scored or placed or whatever. So, yeah, but it was a really nice clip. So, first is the World at War 5 on with Grenade and Sniper. You guys have probably seen this clip. I really like this clip just because it's unique and it wasn't in a Sniper Lobby. Most World at War clips now are in Sniper Lobbies. But this was just in a normal lobby, and it was just out of nowhere with the double grenade, and then it hit the two more. That kid had Juggernaut, too, making it even better, so that's why I like it. And I want to take a second here to say thank you guys for supporting me through 2016. If you are one of my really active subscribers, I do notice you, and I definitely appreciate you. We're coming up on 400 subs now, and I'm really excited to just continue growing and try new things for 2017. Uh, hopefully, year 2016 was as good as mine. I had a few problems, but we worked through most of them, and... I'm pretty happy with this year. I hit a lot of nice clips and had a lot of fun, met some new people, and it was overall a great year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.